Hey, so if you have a, a Ford of any sort, I recommend um, getting one of these little pamphlet things. Okay, um, what they are is um, it's a Ford Ford book that goes over all the models of a certain year, um, like this one's 1981. Uh, which also covers parts of 1982. You can tell because it says 82 EXP. You know, the first year the EXP was offered. But in these books, it goes over um, pretty much all the price outs for all your options and cars and engines in general. It does everything but the transportation charges, but, you know, that of course varies time to time or place to place, however you acquired it or whatever um, but anyways here's how you can use it here on the on the first on the inside of the first cover are all of your engines or cars with engine options which my camera would focus a little bit better but you can see we got everything from your LTDs to Granadas to uh, Fairmonts, there we go, Mustangs, Escorts, all the way down to EXPs. Now that I got the camera focused and you can see the starting prices for all of these. And then it gives you a, a body breakdown. And then I think it gives you a package breakdown too, maybe. No, oh, these are just body breakdowns. So uh, these are the prices you pay for a... Um, the starting prices of whatever two-door, four-door you get. Maybe you got a five-door wagon. Uh, and then those are the starting prices you pay for the smallest engine in all of these. Um, I mean, we're mostly interested in the EXP side of things because that's where I like to hang out. But uh, on the backs, on the next page, page number two, this is where you get to the actual paper inside the book. Um, it breaks down all the cars offered at the time into sections, but keep in mind these are only the cars, not the the trucks, utility vehicles, commercial vehicles, etc. These are just the the cars, automobiles. So 82 EXP, that's in section G. So, yeah, so we'll get to G in a little bit uh, here. Um, the next page over is, you start seeing these tabs, EXP is at the bottom, that's what we'll go to next. Um, but the first one here is for all the Fords, gives you uh, different specifications like size, uh, weights, fuel economies, and for whatever body packages you have with the uh, engine package that you have. Um, so like the EXP curb weight in at just over 2,100 pounds, fuel tank capacity almost 11 and a half gallons. Estimated MPG is 29 city or 29 combined. It's one of the two, and then 46. That is your highway MPG. Length comes in at 170 inches. Wheelbase is 94 inches, and then model is the uh, the cheapest PO1 which I think is the, the 1.6 with the um, four-speed manual um, yeah 170 it's a long car with that plastic fascia on the front and the back it's really long it's not much shorter than a 65 Mustang <laughs> it's only inches shorter but the wheelbase is awfully different and then on the next page over, you get all your engine options. And it tells you what the uh, additional charges are. Um, so on all sedans, you can get the 4.2 V8, uh, that kind of standard, 5 liters in extra cost and all those, 351 is an extra cost and all of those. Uh, same with the 351 high output. Uh, four-speed automatic standard. Ooh, that's interesting. 
because in all my other books you have to pay extra for automatics um, but yeah here's where the, the fun is where you, you get air conditioning 700 bucks <laughs> Even the, the cheaper air conditioning unit is 600 some dollars in 1982, mind you. Auto lamps, 70 bucks. Heavy duty batteries, 20, yeah. Body side protection, pick, 90 bucks. <laughs> Front license plate bracket, uh, depends on where you get the car. Like, uh, a lot of my cars came from North Carolina, so almost all of them have a front license plate bracket. Uh, bumper guards, rear, I don't think EXPs were able to have those. Bumper strips, they did. Those You'd find those on the side of the door. Um, and then they were usually thicker with the on signs. Electric clock, 26 bucks, but that is standard on EXPs. Or it should be anyways. Cornering lights, heated engine block, illuminated entry systems, exterior lighting groups, and then, yeah, there's just crazy price breakdowns for all these. Lock, yeah, power locks, wow, didn't know they had those. Uh, right hand side mirror is 41 bucks. <laughs> Uh, the, ooh, the spendy metallic paint this is an additional $71 to, uh, over the, the regular paints, which were not bad. It's just those metallics are incredible. Uh, two-tone paints are $83. Uh, radio systems, there's a lot of options for this here. Um, I find that really interesting because in the EXP you can only get like three radio options or at least for 1982 and 83 you eventually came out with um, you know more stuff when they switched to Singleton more radio systems and they're all crazy expensive rough vinyls EXP didn't come in vinyl rough that's tempting um, Power seats, uh, cruise control, tilting wheel, stripes on the hood. Oh, that's neat. Suspension, suspension and handling package, uh, upgrade package, heavy duty suspension. Wow. I didn't know you could get that, but it must. Wow, police package. Oh, that's cool. Or heavy duty towing package. Probably for your paramounts and whatnot. Uh, wheel covers, interesting. Power slide windows, wow. There we go, emission system. Well, you could, uh, if you lived in California, you had to buy this $46 for a California emission system. Um, not available with the 433. Oh, 433 is the package because 5.8, that is uh, 351, I think. Yeah, not available with the 351 high output. Uh, California Emissions pa System Package. Uh, what that is, is it is a giant system of vacuum lines and crap that they throw underneath the hood. Um, in my 82 EXP, the one that I'm restoring first one I, I'm restoring, it's got a California emissions package. There's at least 12 extra vacuum lines that do not need to be there whatsoever, and it's just re restricting my my fuel economy and my engine's overall performance, so I need to get that deleted, but mine has that. Um, and that's interesting, because I always wondered why there are a thousand vacuum lines in mine, but no one else's. Uh, Ford's continued. It goes over your tire packages. EXPs, I think, only had like uh, 175 80s, something like that. Um, so now we're reaching the, the LTD section. Um, and then each car has their own section. So, like, this is the LTD package. Uh, they just throw it underneath the Ford section for whatever reason. Uh, and then there's Granada, Fairmont, Mustang, 
escort, and then exp has the last two pages all to itself. Um, but you could find a lot of neat stuff on the exp and the escort pack section because they, at the end of the day, they are uh, same parts. Okay, I have to forgive my cat, she's going crazy again. Brownie. Um, so yeah, here's our EXP section. You can see you paid an extra 360 some dollars for your for your automatic transmission. <laughs> Who would pay more for less fuel economy and performance? Tell me now. Who would do that? <laughs> Who would do that? All right, so then uh, air conditioner, uh, right off the bat, it is 560 bucks. Um, Heavy duty battery is 20 bucks, you know. Uh, electronic clock, yeah, the, the standard in every convenience group, I'm sure. Um, yeah, because why wouldn't you get it? Yeah, because they all came with a the electric clock, they all came with remote tailgate lift, they all came with glove, glove box light, engine compartment light, an ashtray light, that's interesting, headlight on warning, but yeah, they all come with that, so that, I think they eliminated this convenience group, because I've yet to see an EXP that doesn't have one, engine block heater, that's interesting, I have six EXPs and none of them do, uh, none of them have that. Mind you, one is electric, though. <laughs> Tinted glass, complete. So the glass on the windshield, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the glass around the car, um, you could have that tinted for 70 bucks. Uh, but the windshield is tinted. The windshield has a fair amount of tint to it. Um, you can see that on every EXP. Right-hand mirror, $36.00. Metallic glow paint is only forty dollars compared to the seventy it said on the other pages. Probably because this is a smaller car. I'm sure if you wanted like a uh, Fairmont, Granada, LTD wagon, well, whatever, yeah, your paint would cost more because you're painting more of the car. Uh, paint treatment two tone, a hundred bucks. More protection group stuff. Uh, radio systems. Flip up, open air. Um, oh, the sunroof, I think. 230 bucks for a sunroof in 1982. Cruise control is $130. Power steering is $170. And that's interesting. Um, if you have an EXP, you can only have, or if you have an 82 EXP, 83 EXP, you can only have power steering if you don't have cruise, you can only have power steering if you don't have air conditioning, and you can only have air conditioning if you don't have power steering. Uh, TR performance package includes Michelin tires, TR rims, or TL, TR steel rims. Hmm. I've seen the aluminum, so there's a few different aluminum ones. Yeah, the stupid California emission system, that should be illegal. Um, all right, yeah, there's your tires, 165 80s. That was close. And uh, they all came with 13-inch uh, uh, decorative steelies, right, it was standard. Um, if you want white walls, it's only uh, 63 extra dollars. Um, and then, then here's your base car features. You can read through those. There's a lot of cool stuff, like your, your left-handed mirrors. Uh, yeah, wraparound taillights, those are... Or left-handed mirrors, yeah, that's a standard section, I'm sorry. Um, what's interesting is the uh, optional <clears throat> features on the next couple pages. Um, like your passenger mirror, uh, different radio packages, different rims, a few, uh, a few different interior options. Oh, I guess we passed those. Yeah, so all your options were earlier. Um, yeah, and then on the way back of the book, you get your payment programs, uh, depending on your car. 
and how much you put down on it, uh, how much you want to pay for how long you want to pay, whatever. And this belonged to someone who I think priced out a Fairmont or a Granada. Um, yeah, but these are really neat. I love mine. Um, you just get this off eBay or whatever for, like, I don't think mine was even $10. <laughs> and it, it tells you everything you need to know about your options uh, for the year of the car of the year of the book that you got. Really cool. Um, I can't find any Mercury one of these. I'd really like a Mercury one from 82 or 83. So then I could have some stuff on L17s, but oh well. The hunt continues. <laughs>